Hey there, I'm your host Lesoi, and in today's video I'll show you how to create a hold button. So if you're holding the button and you drop it, it's going to reset. And if you press it again and complete it, it's going to give you a message in the top left corner. So let's begin. First, let's create an input action for our button. So if I go to my content drawer and navigate to where my input folder is, let's go to actions, input, input action. I'm going to call this IA underscore hold uh, interact. Then go inside of your newly created input action and we want to add a trigger and this trigger is going to be a hold. Then for the index of that trigger, we want to set the time. So for me, I'd be happy with two seconds. And remember to take is one shot. That means it's going to fire once. And then for the actuation threshold, we're going to change this to 0 0.001 and hit save. Then in our IMC, we are going to create a mapping. So find your input action and I want this to be on the E key. So save and we can exit. Then go into your uh, third person character or wherever you will have the code. I'm simply going to have it in my third person character. And inside of here, I want to create a variable. This variable is going to be called hold number and a type of float. So compile and save. Then let's go and create our widget. So I'm going to create a new folder, UI, and inside of this folder, I'm just going to create my widget. So user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, wb underscore hold button. Inside my widget, I want to add a canvas panel. Then on top of the canvas panel, I want to add a progress bar. So this progress bar, I want to be center aligned with a width x of 300 and about there is good for me then for the color i want this to be a yellow color like so and if i go to my style background image we can change the tint to be something like orange and to see the yellow line let's just simply increase the percentage and now we can round out the box. So if instead of box, we can have a rounded box. And for the fill image, we can do the same. Instead of a box, we can have a rounded box. And we can add a width of 4. Then let's add a text. And text is going to be size to content, also center aligned. And it's going to say 100%, or let's say 66% percent and we are going to have a font of 20. And if I drag this here, everything fits good. So we can compile and save. Then if I select my button, my progress bar, I can add a binding to the percentage. So great binding. And from here, I'm going to cast to my character. So for me, it's going to be the third person character. For you, it might be Steve or Bob. Get player character. And I'm going to then get my hold number. And I'm going to divide it by a value that is relevant to me. So for me, 100 is fine. For you, it could be 200. Uh, you decide. Then we can compile this. And let's get our number or our text. And let's do the same thing. So for our bind, we can create a binding. This one's very similar, a little bit different. Same thing, we're casting to our third person character. The object is get player character. Then for the as third person character, we're going to get hold number. We're going to text to float or to text float. Then let's get a format text, break the node. And instead of the box, do a uh, curly black uh, bracket, X curly bracket again. And if you want the percentage sign, just add it at the very end and then connect the outcome to the X. I connect all of it like that. And we are pretty much done. We can compile and save and exit the widget. Then inside of our third person character, let's add the functionality. So first let's go and create a custom event. 
This is uh, going to be for our hold button. And capital, the U is capital. I don't want that. Then let's do hold number, get it. We're going to add. And for example, I want this value to be increased 10 points every 0 0.2 seconds. So for me, I'm going to do 10. Then I'm going to set this value. Connect it here. And then let's get the delay. So hold down D and press left mouse button. And it's 0 0.2. That's fine for me because that's what I want. And we can comment this. Actually, one more thing before we do. Let's uh, at the very end get hold button again. So it is a constant loop. Then for our input action, we can do hold interact. On triggered, we want a print string. So this is uh, just to tell us that it succeeded. So I'm going to say success with an exclamation mark. And for my started, we are going to create a widget. So this widget is going to be what we made. So our hold button widget. And then for the return value, let's promote this to a variable. Uh, this is going to be called our hold button reference. And then we want to add it to viewport. And after the viewport, we want to use the custom event we created, so hold button. And after that, we want to set this value back to zero. So get the hold number set, and it's going to be set to zero. And if we cancel or complete this action, we want it to disappear. We don't want the widget to be on the screen. So in order to do that, let's get our hold button ref and we can convert it to a validate, validated get. So uncompleted and uncancelled, we're going to go inside. And if it's valid, we simply will remove from parent, like so. And if I compile and save, my hold button now should work perfectly. If I let go, it's not going to do anything. But if I finish it, it's going to give me a success sign on the top left. So that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.